back, everybody. Scarves and belts are wardrobe staples, but the way you wear them can make or break an outfit. So here to show us fashionable ways to wear scarves and belts is my stylist, Alexis Haunt. So please welcome her. Thank you. Thanks, Carolyn. Okay. All right, let's talk about this, because I'm not a big belt fan. I'm not. But I know that they are good things I've to never have. seen you in a belt. No, because <laughs> to me, belts hold up pants. <laughs> if the pants hold themselves up, I don't need a belt. But they can also go on your smallest part and then bring the eye right to your skinny, skinny mid midsection. That's not the skinniest part of my body. It's my <laughs> ankle. <laughs> it is my ankle. And you know that. Well, you know an that. ankle bracelet. And scarves, too, are uh, difficult because, you know, sometimes they can make you look older. They can, or they can be worn in, uh, incorrectly that they foreshorten you. Yeah, you know? because there's a lot of volume. So yeah. that's why I'm going to show you different ways to tie them. You okay. don't, some, if you're chesty, you don't want a lot of volume. Right. Maybe if you're not chesty, you, you want to add that volume. shorter around your neck. Okay, so we're going to start the fashion show. We're going to show you the ways to wear it because we don't want to make, make or, we don't want to break an outfit, that's for no. sure. Scarves event ideas this is for Mariah. you. This hourglass figure. Hourglass, and she, but she's still petite, so she has a great yeah. figure. And she's a working Pretty. woman, so I wanted to put her in something professional that she could wear to casual Fridays, maybe, and still look uh, really professional. So what I did here is I want to lengthen her, because she is petite. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I hung the scarf right around her neck, neck and I left it long. And what you want to do if you are petite, don't let the scarf go any longer than your hips. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to make you look shorter. Like right. the scarf's wearing you and you're not wearing the scarf. Right, right. So another little style detail, so you can control it, because usually they come in a standard length, is you do these cute little knots. And this will let you shorten the scarf as much as you like, and it just it's fun to look at as well. That's cute. And for a curvy person, I like to give them a little bit more structure. So I've kept her in a blazer so that it does the work for her. It gives her a nice, strong shoulder. Mm. It goes in at the waist, which defines a skinny waist, which she already has. And then I just lengthen the leg by keeping the same color shoe with this nice, dark indigo jean. So she's petite and hourglass. So that's... It's, so there's kind of two body types there, okay, right. and that's what we're working with. And if you have a nice, bright scarf, this really brings like the eye scarf. down. Yeah, it's it really just lengthens good. you. Very good. Yeah, it's from Gap. I think it's twenty nine ninety nine, so it's a great price too. Great, thank you so much. You look great. I love the color. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, if you're lucky enough, you've got a slender figure. We're talking about scarves and belts today, so here we go. Well, this That's is Sharna. Hi, Sharna. Pretty. She just had a baby a couple months ago, but she looks amazing. Yeah, she does. Do we like Sharna? I guess. <laughs> you look fabulous. What did you have? She does. Boy. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> really cute. Okay, love all of this. So she has a really straight figure. It's kind of like a boy figure, yeah. more of an athletic frame. So we want to add curves to her. That's what I was talking about before. Yeah. So that's why I picked this scarf. It's from Banana Republic, and it's really wide, so you're going to get a lot of volume. Mm -hmm. And I, what I did is I wrapped it twice in an ascot style, ascot style, which I'll show you after. And you just let all the volume hang in the front. Right in the, right in the front there, Right too. in the front. You give her a little more curve, because yeah. that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the belts here. Is that, that one belt or two it's belts? It's two. Instead of wearing one big one, try two skinny ones in different colors. Good luck going through the airport now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy. It's true. It's <laughs> but you true. know what I like about it? You do the combination of colors. Mm -hmm. So that's an accent piece, too. Yeah. And you can make it speak to your personality. So yeah. pick colors you like, you know, and that way it can become more unique. And then to add to the curves, because that's what we're doing, I put her in a slight flared denim. So it goes mm -hmm. in at the knee, out at the ankle, and it really accentuates the curves. If you're bottom heavy, don't go for this style of jean, because it just will actually make you more curvy. And you, you, you chose neutral tone shoes. I thought she was tall and she could take the, she didn't, it's, the cutoff wouldn't matter for her. Right, right. Yeah, long, and I like the stripes with the polka dots and the bigger polka dots. Yeah, I think it's fun. Yeah, and just it's really, you know, add a little volume and play with color and texture. You like that? I do too. I'm banana, inspired. Everything's Banana Republic. Everything's Banana Republic yeah. on you. You look great. Thank you so much. Now for the petite figure, here we go. I love those colors, by the way. It's nice to see color again. It isn't is, it? especially in the trench. Hello there. How are so you? So we have Helen here. Now Hi, she's Helen. petite. So what I wanted to do is make her as long as possible. Come on over and stand so beside. So come on over here beside yeah. me. <laughs> So number one, when you're petite, you want to keep your colors monochromatic. Yes. You like it as well. Yeah. So that I means do. all the tones are in similar colors here. You're not going to... The only tones. pop of color yeah. is, the, is the bag. Okay. So what I did with this scarf is this is a bunny ear style scarf, and I wanted to bring all the attention up towards her face and on across the sh shoulders. So that makes her taller. Yeah. Just seem taller. Hands it on a little bit too. But she's, but she's longer in here too. She is, so she can take the so two. So she can take, she can that, take yeah. the volume yeah, there. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to tell another little tip. Whenever I wear a pencil skirt, I always add a belt. There's no belt loops, but why not have that style detail mm -hmm. right in your smallest midsection right here? And it brings attention to, you know, how great she looks. Are a lot of pencil skirts like high-waisted? 
Uh, you find? Yeah, I think that's the that's style the of the pencil that's the Okay. And pencil's really great for petite women as well because they're not voluminous. So mm -hmm. if they hug the body, then it's not going to add it any weight to the bottom. Gives you a, a look of Just length. Just a long Where's lean. Where's all this from? So this is from Banana Republic as well. This is from Melanie Lynn. It's a Ralph Lauren scarf and they're having a big sale. I got it for $30. Nicely done. And um, this is from The Bay, the belt. So and again, well. the, uh, the neutral tone uh, a hose and then the shoes gives same you that. Same colors. Get it. You yeah. do not want to break this up. Right. You do not want to put like a blue belt here or anything. So same colors just lengthens the look. Thank you so much. You look Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. And then the next you're just so rounded, right? It's a little bit round. A little roundy. Yeah. 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 This is okay, Leslie. Here we go. Leslie. And she looks look amazing. Great. This is an Anne Klein dress from the oh, Bay. Look at you. So Look this is you. another silk scarf, but it's done in a different way. So the other one was up on the shoulder. This one's right down the middle. Before I even start pulling... Put your arm down, really. Yeah, put, there you get go. comfortable. <laughs> yeah, get comfortable, my dear. Okay. She told me she's busty. So before I even pulled clothes, I knew no volume on top. Mm -hmm. So that's why I picked a silk scarf because it's really thin. But it's not its not a lot of fabric on that. So it's a thin scarf. It just but a little detail. It's a great accent on you. I love it. And what it does is instead of, since it's a little more round, it doesn't bring our eye out. Mm -hmm. It's drawing all the attention right, right down the center okay. of her. Okay, gotcha. And then I didn't want to cut her off again because I want all the attention at her face. I chose a little chain detail belt so that she still looks put together and stylish, but it's not mm -hmm. going to draw your eyes straight there. Mm -hmm. But she could, if, but I know we're doing scarves and belts, but if she chose just to use the scarf, that would be great, right? Yeah, I think so as well. But I yeah. do, I wanted to say dresses come with belts, yeah. but they're usually not real leather. Yeah. They don't last long. So what I do is I always switch up the belt. Okay, that's good to yeah. know, yeah. And then a little pop of color on the bottom, and that's so that doesn't steal the attention away from her face. Okay, beautiful. I like that. So some tips on scarves and belts. We're going to continue with this story coming up right after the break. For more on these looks, you can just check out Marilyn Dancier. We will be right back with the lesson. <laughs> Very good. Coming up, Marilyn's personal stylist, Alexis Hahn, sticks around to show us how to stylishly accessorize with the newest ways to wear scarves and belts.